students have revealed the terrible things that happened in their school. But the school denied it, and authorities censored it. Welcome to Channel Uncensored, and I'm Chris Chappell. Now, I had my problems back in high school in California, but I'm sure glad it wasn't China. Because in China, high school can get crazy. And if the teachers abuse you, everyone from the principal to the police to the government rush to silence you and cover it up. Which brings us to Hung Shui High. It's a full-time boarding school in Hung Shui City, Hebei Province. Hung Shui High has won numerous awards, including National Model School and Hebei Province Model Parent School. It gets more of its students into top Chinese universities than any other school in the province. So it's a little wonder that parents want to send their kids there. But behind the awards and statistics, let's just say it's not like the high school you went to, hopefully. Students are required to study close to 15 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you don't give it your all, they beat it out of you. In Chinese media, Hung Shui Hai is often compared to a prison camp. In 2012, pictures of a class of students hunched over books and hooked up to IV drips for energy caused an outcry when they circulated online. Around 2014, Hung Shui Hai built up barriers to stop suicides after pupils jumped to their deaths. And while that might sound harsh to you softies in the West, China's state-run People's Daily defended it, telling readers to stop demonizing Hung Shui High School. Obviously, you don't understand the complex reality of Chinese education. So to help people understand the complex reality, students at Hung Shui High School are using social media as a cry for help. On February 9th, a student who claimed to attend Hung Shui High posted a four-page long article on Chinese social media. In it, he criticized the school's various non-compliant practices, saying they've made him suffer from anxiety and depression. He wrote that the school often turned off the water during washing time every day, and the water quality turned yellow, meaning students could only shower one night in the winter and one in the summer. The food safety issues in the school cafeteria are severe, I have found bugs, hair, plastic bags, steel, balls, etc. in the meals. Students suffer from food poisoning. During lunch, you cannot leave any food left over, not even if a cockroach shows up in your bowl. The teacher may even pick up the cockroach and let you eat it. If you don't, you'll be sent to the classrooms to be punished. Wait, so this episode thumbnail is inaccurate. There shouldn't be any cockroaches left. The student also writes that once a student had a high fever, but the teacher didn't care. The student soon burned to death and, without any treatment, the teacher dragged him away. The teacher did not tell the child's family until the holidays. The student continued to cite problems including bribes, harsh punishments, and even teachers molesting students. Other Nessens who claimed to be students of Hung Shui Hai felt encouraged to speak out in solidarity. They started writing messages and posting screenshots of their injuries from teachers. There was a girl in our school who was violated by the teacher and became pregnant. In the end, she was thrown to the ground by that teacher, who then kicked her in the stomach. The next thing was all blood. According to screenshots from the internet, there are many girls in Hung Shui High School suffering from gynecological diseases, and the students did not dare to call the police. As for students who develop suicidal thoughts under the pressure, the Education Bureau in Hung Shui doesn't care about this. The director of the office said it himself. Several students attempted suicide by jumping off the building. All authorities say is that the student broke a bone. There is real sexual assault, and several people have come down with depression. Soon these posts started getting attention. It even became a top trending hashtag, investigation into online accusations on school teacher punishing and molesting students. That is, it was trending for a few minutes. That's how long it lasted before authorities censored it. And then the search just said, According to relevant laws and policies, this topic is prohibited to view. And then the hashtag magically stopped existing. Even though media outlets used it, it's no longer hyperlinked into any discussion. It turns out, Chinese social media isn't the right place to have an open discussion. 
The only discussion that's okay is the kind where authorities tell you what you can discuss and how to talk about it. A day after the initial post got attention and was censored, Hung Shui High School put out an official statement on what they call false remarks on the internet. An individual has posted videos and articles on Douyin, Weibo, and other platforms with fabrications and distorted facts, malicious speculations and rumors. The individual has slandered the reputation of the school, fishing for attention by attacking school-loving teachers and parents. The individual has caused students' psychological fluctuations, seriously affecting the normal management order of the school and causing certain adverse social effects. The statement went on to say there will be a close investigation on the matter, while also denying all the accusations and saying the student was lying. So I guess the results of the investigation have been determined in advance. There's also news that after the Hung Shui High School scandal was exposed, the school spent hundreds of millions to suppress public opinion. Remember, Hung Shui High is a national model school with a reputation for getting students into the best universities. So a scandal like this could ruin them. And it wouldn't be a surprise if the people who run Hung Shui Hai have good connections with the Chinese government. Because 10 days later, the Hung Shui Public Security Bureau posted this statement. Through visiting and inquiring relevant personnel, extracting electronic evidence, etc., the relevant facts were preliminarily identified and no molestation was found. A netizen with the Weibo username K was dissatisfied with being reprimanded by Xu, a teacher at Hung Shui Hai. He fabricated rumors that Xu was molesting others and released them through personal online social accounts. Because the information quickly attracted media attention and was reposted by netizens, this person issued an apology statement on his Douyin account, admitting that he fabricated and published false information. So, if any of the allegations are true, the students are clearly not getting any help from local authorities. They can even be punished for posting about it online, and they can't even talk about it. When it comes to Hung Shui High School, a place of learning, no one is allowed to ask questions. Like this netizen, who saw the news and had doubts. I heard about Hung Shui High School. Is it true? A reporter for an outlet called The Daily View replied to the comment with, I've already said this so many times. Don't believe in the news you hear on small web platforms. All you need to do is wait for the official investigation. Otherwise, you'd be fooling yourself a hundred times over with a hundred meaningless reposts. That's right. You should only believe government authorities or large state-connected media. But it seems that netizens are finding a clever way to get around the censorship. A video trend has emerged where people make noise with putty while broadcasting the cries of the Hung Shui High School students. These videos all have a general title of speaking up for the students of Hung Shui High School and save the children. The idea seems to be displaying something harmless so people will click and then hear the stories of the students. That's one way to spread awareness, until of course it inevitably gets censored too. And now it's time for me to answer a question from a supporter on Patreon. Zephyr Chen asks on Patreon, given the current geopolitical trend between the U.S. and the PRC, how likely is it that we'll see stories on either TV or on the silver screen with China as the baddie, like in Quantum Spy, or about China's princelings flaunting their wealth, influence, and power, like in China Rich Girlfriend, Crazy Rich Asian sequel? Good question. In the 2000s and 2010s, this would have been unthinkable. Hollywood and all the TV networks were desperate to get into China. Okay, they still mostly are. But people are more and more seeing the bad side of the CCP, like putting Uyghurs in concentration camps, and all the CCP's trade wars on Australia and Lithuania, and even worse, blocking Hollywood movies from getting into China. That's already starting to happen. When it finally gets so bad that Hollywood and the big TV networks feel like they can't get into the China market, their content will change to reflect that. So for Quantum Spy or China Rich Girlfriend, how critical they are of the CCP depends on how far into the future they get made. But here's some good news. We don't have to wait, because there are a lot of smaller media that are already taking this on. For example, the film Unsilenced by Flying Cloud Productions, a smaller film studio based in Canada. I interviewed the female lead about it recently, so there's hope yet.
Thanks for your question, Zephyr. And thank you to all of you who support China Uncensored by contributing a dollar or more per episode through the crowdfunding website Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.